This is the first power up of my SCX 10.3 Gladiator and test uh, channel one steering. I'll just lift this up to take the load off of it. Steering works, however, it does not have a lot of steering authority there as far as the angle goes. I think that's a setting in the controller. Try channel two. It does, it does move. So that's a win. Uh, channel three is the dig servo. And that doesn't appear to be working. I'll have to pull this back off and find out what's going on with that. I've got plenty of these servos if it's blown. Uh, the lighting servo is on switch three right here. You can see right on my thumb. And I don't know if I have this hooked up correctly or not. Um, there's multiple ways to plug it in and I'm not sure if I've done it right. All I know is the one that currently is here are the rock lights. Oh, there they go. I got it on strobe. There we go. So, that's on the flash. That's off. That is on. All four rock lights work. I got those reinstalled, as you can tell. This time without massive clouds of hot glue. I didn't have the proper screws to put them in. And the screw holes don't line up because these rock lights didn't, they weren't intended for use on this truck. So that's fine. Um, I just used uh, Gorilla Tape. And it's a lot cleaner install. When you look at it, you might not even notice them. So there's tape on the top. But I have a drivable truck now. I'm excited about that. If I put the body on, I know I can plug it in to this spot here. The, the lighting for the, for the body. Um, that'll be okay. So what I'm seeing here I don't like because this uh, servo horn has been cut off right here. You can see that it's been shortened. And because it's been shortened, it does not give full wheel travel left and right. Also, it gets into the plastic right here. You can see it touching here and over here it gets into some stuff too. I don't really like the way the gears sound. I don't think they have any grease in them. In the process of testing the systems, I realized that the gear mesh was wrong, so I took it apart and found out that it has a 13 tooth pinion, but the uh, original builder of this, not my buddy, set it up on the 12 tooth uh, holes. On these axials, there's a, a mounting point here. They're labeled for the number of teeth on the pinion, and it was off by one, so it was going to definitely overheat that motor. Also, the dig unit back here was gummed up, seized up, and uh, just wasn't right. Nothing about it was right. So I took that apart. I had to take the motor out twice because I just had to keep doing things in order to make sure that it was no longer gummy inside of there. I don't even know what was in there. But there was not a lot of grease. There was something in there that was sticky, so... Not sure what that was, but it was kind of like an, I don't know what it was. It was something probably that he'd driven through at some point. I also took out a bunch of seaweed from the bearings at the end of the drive shaft. And also, the dig servo is toast. So I'm going to see if I have one to replace that with. Anyway, uh, once that's in, this thing will be completely ready. Um, it's greased up now there was no grease on the gears inside and uh, the gear mesh is correct so it sounds a lot better I've got the light kit working on it and it uh, hopefully will be right this time but I still got an excellent deal on this this is just the stuff you go through when you buy a used crawler this is called the uh, it's was it almost free but uh, when you have an almost free thing you've got some work to do usually Day five has turned into day six, but I finally got this thing done. And of course it has to have a voltmeter inside because all my trucks do. It's kind of valuable out on the trail just to know what your voltage is. So you know when you're getting close to changing the battery. Also, uh, there's my dog. She just showed up. Hi, Amy. 
and uh, I've got a lot of other things set up on this including the lights and I've got headlights tail lights rock lights uh, let me show you the front this is the front back of both tail lights that work the headlights you can't tell in the video actually have a red halo around the the uh, white beam in the center and of course the uh, light bar on the top is extremely bright unnecessarily so and if I want to turn the rock lights off I can if I want to run just rock lights I can do that or I can do emergency mode or party mode or that uh, kind of just goes up and down kind of like that I don't know why you'd need those modes, but they're there. Um, but that is the lighting system. I also have a uh, dig set up on this. And it's set up so that if I want to, I can put it in front wheel drive only. Let's see right here. That way if it, if it drops straight into a V and you gotta come back up, it won't bind the suspension or the drivetrain by trying to, the back wheels push the front in while the front hasn't even climbed yet. It'll keep it from, from uh, binding up the drivetrain. It also has the uh, full dig, which is cool. Same as in the Capra. I have discovered that longer wheelbase cars trucks the dig is not as effective as a shorter wheelbase but it still works and it's got some nice upgrades on it and the next time you see this it's going to be on the trail at red rock running some clips thanks for watching appreciate you talk to you later